Alright y'all, this is the video man, this is the part 4, even though it could have been a whole bunch of parts to me showing y'all processing me like really building this bike. This is my 1992 Yamaha Banshee, a real Enco 92. I just decided I'm gonna get y'all a quick walk around real quick man. The bike not perfect, it's not meant to be perfect, this is not a showroom collectors, I'm gonna build it and not ride it bike, bike is gonna get ridden. I'm gonna beat on the bike and I'm gonna have fun with it. But long story short, my dude commented on my TikTok, basically saying like, yo, I seen one of your videos and the video is basically saying, I was selling my 94. That's what video he commented under. He basically said, yo, I seen somebody ask you that you was, where they asked me what bike I was gonna get next. And I was like, I'm gonna try to get a 92 if I can find one. The dude liked that comment. He was basically saying like, yo, I seen that the next bike that you want to buy is going to be a 1992 and I got one. I basically ended up getting this information or whatever, like his contact information and crazy part was, bro, I didn't even know. He didn't know where I was and I didn't know where he was. So I'm like, yeah, man, type shit. I wouldn't even, I ain't really get my hopes up because like, this bike might be far away from me. After he hit me, I'm like, yeah, bro, where you located? And he told me, uh, Cedar Town, Georgia. It's probably like an hour and 10 minutes from where I'm at. And I'm like, damn, like, that's crazy because I'm in Georgia. And he didn't know I was in Georgia either. But he's just messaging me trying to help me out on some TikTok follower type shit trying to help me out, you know? So I'm talking to the dude, man. I'm like, yo, bro, like, what's your price like? Because I'm really, I don't know if y'all know, but I don't really spend too much money on benches like a lot of people do. I don't think it's smart unless it's already done and it's just already like, yeah, I messed that up. It's supposed to be facing this way like that, but... I've been looking for this damn tool. I don't think it's smart, but like I said, if it's done, then cool. You know, ain't nothing wrong with buying a bench that's $7,000 or $8,000, $9,000. That's cool. If you don't need nothing, cool. So I'm like, oh, yeah, he probably a typical, typical guy. He wants 6,500, 7,000. Mind you, this banshee didn't look nothing like this. It had black plastics, a black seat, Athena head. I'm going to put a picture in so y'all can see how it looked before. So it, it didn't really, it wasn't a 92. It didn't even look like a 92 besides the wheels, number matching and the white headlights. So I'm talking, he's like, yeah, man, I'm gonna get back with you once I get a price. Me and my wife are gonna talk about it. I'm like, okay, cool. He get back to me the next day. He's like, yeah, man, me and my wife decide on the price. So I'm like, okay, man, what like, what are your numbers looking like? This man told me 3,500. I couldn't believe it, bro. I'm like, ain't no way. But at the same time, I'm keeping my cool. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, that ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to sound like, sound cool. Trying to sound like he ain't basically giving me the bike away. And then I'm asking him like, yo, what extra parts you got for sale? I mean, like what extra parts gonna come with the bike? Is there any extra parts? He was like, I man, I just got a couple extra parts. None too major type shit. Like he's just trying to like brush that question off. I'm like, all right, cool. Cause I already had DMCs. I already had OEM 92s and I already had, uh, a cascade seat cover, not that one, but the cascade one is in my storage unit. I already had white headlights, you know, and I was already planning on getting my own wheels and stuff like that. So I ended up meeting the guy uh, around his way. And, you know, I do my, my regular inspection of the bike just to see what all I can sell, make some money off of and things like that. But, uh yeah so you know after i paid him man i'm really like i said i'm really not thinking about the extra parts or whatever but after i paid him man he goes to his truck and he pulls out a set of these plastics a oem seat from 92 i think he pulled out a couple other wheels for the bike the rear wheels that was stamped 91 for 92 and i just couldn't believe it i'm like bro ain't no way like, so, and that's how I got the bike, man. Just on some random, a random guy just coming on my TikTok trying to help me out, trying to sell it to a good home. And I really appreciate that because he helped me accomplish one of my goals of getting this bike, which I didn't know if I would be able to get it or not. And it was only an hour and 10 minutes away, bro. Like, I was already talking to a dude in, I think, Oklahoma who wanted to sell it to me. 
and I'm I'm basically getting like my shipping and stuff in order to buy the bike. And I hit him like two days later, he just never responded to me. So I was like, all right, fuck it, cool. Um, so I redid everything, bro. Uh, got everything powder coated because the frame was so messed up. I'm not powder coating nothing else, by the way. Um, everything is going to get painted just like my O3. Powder coating ain't really worth it, especially when you street ride. If you like dirt riding and stuff like that, and you just heavy on beating on bikes and you don't take care of your stuff, then that's powder coating is for you. You feel me? But I don't really got to get powder coated stuff like that. I sold all the good parts. Um, I put an OEM top end on it as far as the cylinders, and I put some wise code pistons in it. Um, stock head, stock carbs, full air box with no mods. I just took the snorkel off. I'll give y'all a quick startup of the bike. Um, got my OMF wheels on here. I got OEM wheels as well in storage. As you can see, like this bike not perfect, bro. Bolts got rust on them, you know what I'm saying? And I'm fine with that, man, like, you know? I'm fine with that, bro. I got brake, brake, uh, fluid all over the bike no it's cool i don't want the bike to be perfect i don't want it to be perfect i don't want brand new plastics you know i want scuffs on it and stuff like that and i know that's cool with me bro i don't care about having a perfect bike but this is a time capsule this is something you don't see every day especially where i'm from in georgia uh come on bro but I'm gonna give y'all a quick little start up of the bike, man. Give y'all some light, man. Once again, I'm sorry it took me so long to upload this video, bro, but be like that sometime, bro. Be like that sometime, man. I know I got my toes out and. Bike is running rich, man. It's 67 degrees right now. Uh, I tuned this bike for 40 degree to 60 degree weather, so it's running a little rich. to a roller again i'm slowly building that it's not gonna be a fast build like this was because i already got this it's crispy it's already done i got something to ride for the summertime so um i love dmc's bro i'm trying to get aliens on my on my 2003 but we'll see how that goes i'm not trying to put too much money in it i know i told y'all i was gonna do omf with uh fmf I'm just I'm I'm putting regular chrome rims on there, and I'm gonna try to get a clean set of DMC aliens. And that's about it, bro. You know, everybody might not like the way I do my bikes. Uh, and that's fine. I don't do them for y'all. I do what I do for me because I like the way it look, make me happy. And if it ever need to go back to OEM or as close as OEM to possible. I'm a set of wheels, which I got uh, uh, almost identical seat cover to OEM that I got. 
in storage. I just gotta get some pipes and that'd be all OEM or closest to OEM as possible. But yeah, man. I appreciate y'all showing me love, bro. Comment on my videos. Uh, it's been motivating me, bro. Like, just keep posting my O3. It's been motivating me a lot. So, y'all keep showing love, bro. Keep, please keep liking the videos. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn y'all post notifications on so y'all know when I'm dropping the videos and stuff like that, man. And it's your boy, One Tony Stunts. You can follow me on Instagram at One Tony Stunts and at Stunts Vapor Honing. And I'm out, bro.